That was gold. <laughs> Whoa, shit. Uh. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, Starting it off with a bang. Fuck me. Okay. I don't think that. I don't think that got on there though. I don't think that got on there. We gonna keep right. it off. We'll all, <laughs> all the way off. Um, normalizing so the bullshit. I sh- I guess I shouldn't open with that, huh? Nah, you shouldn't. Have. I mean, I just try to tell you not to open with that because it's called normalizing things. Listen, we were just because we were just having a whole intelligent conversation off air. Normalizing the abnormal. We had a whole. We had a conversation off air before Ooh. we got on about. The topic of what's a woman, and we was talking about the transgender being a transgender woman is that considered a woman? And you had some thoughts on that, Dre. And you want to yo stop just opinion us up, yo. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing you. that. Yo, yeah. you had some thoughts on that. What was you about to say? No, you had some thoughts <laughs> on it earlier. Kevin, you Kevin will tie you to a chair and ask you a question about traffic as he's throwing you in it. For real. <laughs> How fast uh, does a bus drive on 42? Tell me. Oof. We had thoughts. We had we were talking. We, we were are. talking and I said that there's a popular question around social media and it's a triggering question that I think it needs to be asked, but it really isn't that hard to understand. It's very simple. And the question was, what is a woman? Now we'll talk about other things in this episode, but that was one of the things that was going around. It's not bullshit. It's a real question because as time goes on and social media kind of controls the narrative of everything, you get people putting their agendas, um, putting their agendas on everybody in the world and expecting them to conform. Now, the question, what is a woman? Now, to me, 10, 15 years ago, the question was very, very simple. What is a woman? Oh, it's, you know, a person with a, with boobs and a vagina. And, you know, you say, you say they were born a woman. They were assigned woman at birth. And that's what you give them. But now the question is so layered for people who want to feel included, which I have no problem with. I have absolutely no problem with that. But there is transgender woman. And then there's a woman. There's transgender man. And then there is a man. Now, I understand that the LGBTQ wouldn't label that so black and white, and I understand that. But for everyone else in the world who has grew to who has grew to understand and, and learned in elementary school what a man and a woman is, this comes as a shock. Just give me a second. I will wrap this part up. And you guys can come in and no, drive the bus or get I, under the bus. I'm I'm I'm, 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 I'm I want to see where this goes. Yeah. So People say, so there's two dis, two different conversations. There's what do you identify as and what is a woman? So I'm going to attack both real quick and then y'all can jump in. So okay. what is a woman? I just explained it. What I feel like a woman is. If you then tell me, well, Caitlyn Jenner won, and I, and I hate to bring up uh, Caitlyn Jenner, but Caitlyn Jenner won woman of the year. I say, that's some bullshit. Just like Dave Chappelle said, how you win woman of the year your first year as a woman. You know what I'm saying? Where there's so many other women out there doing their thing. That seems kind of bullshit. Um, the second question is people who say I identify as a woman. You know what I'm saying? I identify as a woman. Pierce, Pierce Morgan on a show said, well, what if I tell you that I identify as a black lesbian? And the woman on there who was making this argument had no answer. She was like, well, that's just ridiculous. He says, well, when does this ridiculous stop? Like you're telling me that Anybody can identify as anything, but I'm telling you that I identify as a black lesbian. He's a white man, by the way, a white British man. When does the ridiculousness stop? I identify as a fucking light. Like, we have to keep that into a... Listen, check whatever box you want, but when dealing with other people and expecting them to conform to whatever you say, I just don't think that's fair. Proceed. Uh, all right. So I'm about to say I agree. I'm I'm going to go off of that. The, the woman thing. You, you have a woman and trans trans transgender woman. Tra- if you look at the word trans, I mean you transition. The word itself means you transition transition into being a woman, which is acceptable. It's cool to say you identify, like you said, you said identify yourself as a woman. You can't expect the rest of the world to 
always identify you as a woman unless you tell them what you are. You got to come out your mouth and say that. If you see a woman, you're a woman, a hundred, you know, a woman a hundred miles away or, or, or whatever, a woman within 10 feet of you, you might know as a woman or you see a man, you might know as a man, you, you, you know, you, 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 that's, it's just visuals and the word man and woman was just a sign. So you can differentiate, so you can, yeah, differentiate between the, the def, different sexual parts. I, give me an example right here. If I told you, if I came to you and I said, what are these two items in my hand? Oh, I got to look down. A phone and a remote. Okay. What if I told you this is a spoon and this is a plate? <laughs> I will call you crazy and laugh you out the room. But what if I took this serious and I and this is what I told you? I, you will probably have to, end up fighting. Not fighting, but you would have to <laughs> say if you wanted say, say, say you wanted to keep my say if you if I truly identify these two things would be a spoon and a plate. And every time I would tell somebody, hey, give me my plate. <clears throat> they'd go get me an actual plate instead of giving me my phone. You get what I'm saying? This is the labels and the names that we gave each other is just simply for our eyes to recognize it and for our brains to identify what it is. Word. What you are internally, what you feel like you are internally, that is completely up to you. Mm -hmm. That is that is your that is your makeup. You can't expect all the world. We can be respectful and, and call you a woman. We can be respectful and, and say, okay, we, we understand you are a woman. But don't, don't make it so that deep down in our mind, you want to convince us to try to rewrite everything to say, no, you're a woman. When a little bit in my brain says that is a man. You know what I'm saying? And also, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's completely cool. But all these, all words are is to identify things for your brain. For you to recognize it and know what it is. To know if I say, hey, there's a fork, you actually grab me a fork. Yeah. Or you actually grab me a spoon and actual grab me a cup. If I was to relabel everything in my house, I would have to have you guys, I would have to have you guys tell you things one by one. And I would have to repeat it to you every time you came into my house. And, and to eventually you would know, all right, we're going to Kevin's house. So not Thank to you. offend Kevin, let's remember how he identifies everything. That's the same with thing being a transgender per, uh, woman or a man. And also, you you got to take into consideration if you're the person who decides to identify as something other than what you were naturally born as, you have to take into consideration how hard it is for another person to adapt to that, not being that, and knowing you for the majority of your life to be one thing and now to have to understand you to be wanting to be another thing. Like, I have two, I have two daughters. If my daughters <clears throat> grew up and they um, and one of them decided that they were going to uh, identify as a man, they wanted to be transgender. It's going to be hard for me to get the thought of the little girl that I raised her whole life from being a girl to a boy because I was there. I know who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like and it's hard for me to to it's hard. It, it's hard for my mind to transition itself to be like, oh, this person that I raised isn't this person anymore. Because that's how a person will look at it at first. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you may be the same person characteristically, but you're choosing not to be the same person, I don't know, physically? I mean, technically, you still are the same person physically until you actually get that change, right? Uh, so, depends. how? I'm, I'm with you. No, I'm saying like, you know, when they start taking certain hormones and stuff like that, that's something different. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's you starting to to start the process of make the physical change on your own. It doesn't just happen naturally. You no, don't wake no. up and be like, you know what? I've, I'm I'm I, I'm going to transgender. I want to be transgender. I think that the skin that I'm living under isn't the right, you know, isn't the body I'm supposed to be in. And I'm, I'm a female. I want to be a male or I'm a male and I want to be a female. And you wake up and you snap your fingers. And now that that's what happens. You're right. No, nah, you was born a woman. You're a woman until you decide to change your own behalf mm -hmm. and have things done. You know what I mean? So it's hard for, for a person to just transition themselves. They have to pretty much train themselves into them knowing and them from knowing what you used to like or or the, what they thought you used to like to who you've become at this point. You know, what right. I mean, and that and that's really not an easy feat. I mean, 
if you knew a woman and she always liked women and she, you know, was more dominant towards being a male when you first met her, that's how you're going to address her always, because that's how you met her. But if you grew up with a person, y'all went to school together and she was a male or female as y'all grew up. And then next thing you know, 10 years later, they decided to get a sex change. You're, you're, you're going to be blown away a little bit. You know what I mean? Because what you used to know isn't that. It might not necessarily be a bad thing in your mind, but it's still, it's still a shocking point. Right. I, I want to make an important distinction here. So there's there's two different trains of thought that we are discussing that are that are kind of separate. We we are saying the way we feel, number one, um, which is probably a little different here and there. But the way we feel is, yo, whatever you choose to identify as as far as man or woman, man or woman is your is your prerogative. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. We never nobody ever said that it's because we know I know people who prefer to be called woman or a woman who prefer or she pronouns. OK, your pronouns are your business. You get with people that, you know, don't that, you know, don't quite get it yet. And you 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 help them along because it's all about, you know, kind of understanding because that's a fight that you have to fight, you know, for a long time. Perfectly yeah. fine. Perfectly fine. That's I, I know a couple people like that. We are talking about the what is a woman topic and the way that gets muddled into that part. You know what I mean? Because we, right. we know what a woman it's just it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I speak more. With, like, I speak like more more women on the like you got to understand women in America just, you know, not that long ago, got the right to vote, were treated as a second class citizen. Mm -hmm. We had a guest on recently who talked about how women in her country are yeah. were being killed. Still mute, mute, still mutilated and used as a test subject for like for, for war products. Yep. These are things. So these are things women take pride in because they don't have a lot. You know, what I mean, let's be let's be honest. Since the dawn of time, the male species has been putting the dominance, been putting his dominance on the world. You know, what I mean. Anything you the king, you know, the king is rules over everybody, including his queen. His person, somebody's, somebody's supposed to be his equal, he still rules over the queen. Uh, the man is is the stronger being, so it, 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 it you know, it, it fucking attacks the women. It, you know, some places they just allow to just rape women with no fucking repercussions. Let's be real. This is the thing that these women. So when a woman hears women like that from no country, hear somebody says I I'm a woman is like it's almost to their point of slapping their face of the trials and tribulations that they had to go through as being a woman. Mm -hmm. You are, you know, to, in their eyes, you might be taking what's the best parts of being a woman and applying it to yourself and not necessarily taking all the fucking pitfalls that come with being a woman because let's be real let's be real about this situation people are more likely to, to have a sexual harassment case at work against a woman than they are to offend somebody from the lgbq community you know what i'm getting what i'm saying yeah they're more they're more terrified of what's going to happen from that community then they are terrified what will happen from act the actual woman community let's be you know that's i'm being honest you know so at most places like that, they're a little bit more in the corporate world, in the business, they're more, more recept, uh, respectful and receptive to you. Sometimes a woman, they not, they may not be. They kind of frying it, if you really think about it. The LGBTQ plus community is kind of frying shit. Yeah. For they, real. They, they should, you know, the black community should kind of look at what they're doing because they making well, people so scared <laughs> to offend any part of that, you know, any part of that community or say the wrong thing that, you know, you're you right. Get, you get canceled. You get banned. But you can say anything about a woman. You can say anything degrading about an actual woman. Call them hoes, bitches. You can say, oh, this bitch fucked like 20 men. That bitch is a hoe. These bitches, these women are hoes nowadays. You can say shit like that. And your show won't get canceled. Your show might even get a boost. They'll praise you. They might praise you. There might be people that might be applaud you. Now, you say something derogatory about somebody in that, and, 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 and you know, in that. I, 
can't forget that. Remember the letters that community LGBT, you say alphabet, bro. Like that because LGBT, LGBTQ, but you can say alphabet. Uh, okay, you spend somebody in that community. You say that same thing on your podcast or your TV show or Rainbow, Rainbow, Rainbow's better. Yeah, yeah. You say that your shit is removed. Everything you pull from the internet, you pull from all your social media shit. Everything's being pulled from you. Everybody's coming down on you with fucking flaming arrows. It's like world war world three. Like it's yeah. cool. Like we were talking about the pronoun things earlier. Like people, I get it. Some people want to be called certain pronouns or no pronouns at all. Okay, that's cool. That's what you prefer. That's what you prefer. What I don't like is when they you you use the word like her or she and they get offended like, that you use them terms. Oh, you got to say, oh, hey, hey, correct me, bro. Not, not even, not, not call them. But I say, hey, my daughter, she's such a beautiful girl, you know, and a person. Who right. Has, okay. Right. You, nobody has her. How can you, why would you label it that? I'm like, hold up. I respect mm -hmm. what you're doing completely, 110%. Respect what I do. Yes. Okay. Respect my expect uh, respect my train of thought just like I respect your train of thought. Respect how how I perceive the world just like I respect how you perceive the world. You can't right. push your agenda on other people. You should everybody should stay in their lanes and respect everybody's viewpoint of the world. That, there's that, no room in the listen. I, there's no room in the world for impossible. murderers. There's no room in the world for rapists. People it's got three views. You get what I'm saying? There's no, there's no, uh, there's no, you know, people that fucking just kill innocent mass murder people. Like none of that shit. I don't say they got to fucking view the world. Those people are, are cruel. They're taking human lives and they're taking some innocent from people. You get what I'm saying? They don't have a view. But if me just saying the word her, she, uh, him and, and, and shit like that, man or woman, cool. Respect what I say. Now, if you say them and they and, and other, that's fine for you. That's cool for you. I'm not mad at you. But respect, stay in your lane. Don't don't come across the lane and say, hey, you, you got to do this. So I want to let listeners and uh, the public in on a secret. Would y'all 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 care if I share? Go ahead. All right. So social media <clears throat> is being engineered to to control your thoughts here's what i mean and it could be just socially engineered not engineered by the company but socially engineered and i'm gonna tell you what i mean these podcasts that you are seeing all of these quotes from i'll give you the formula right now it's not what we're doing it's and y'all can jump in when y'all get a chance it's take men maybe two or three Beautiful women, Surrounded. 22 and under, nothing, of, nothing over 30, maybe 25 and under. Beautiful, gorgeous women put about 10 of them around the table with about three men. And then here's how it goes. Men are better than women. Watch all the women react, tape their reactions. Cut that out. Cut out the most outrageous thing, put it on social media, and then you get mad about it. That's what social media is right now, and that's why we're having this conversation. These aren't real conversations, bro. These are what-if conversations that these guys are coming up with and triggering these young ladies because they'll. you can't tell me a 25-year-old got the world figured out. No, you ain't been here long enough to have the world figured out and come to me with your views and say, bro. And then you got and then, yo, these these men that be having these shows are like 40. <clears throat> not only, it's ridiculous. Not only that, but they're they, it from what I see the majority of the time. It's not like and not to downgrade these women at all. But the, the choice of women are like prestigious women. You don't see doctors. You don't see therapists. You don't see uh, athletes. You see women talking about their OnlyFans page or the thought things that go on. or And it, and it just sounds a, a blasphemous. Like, what? What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't make sense. But the reason it don't make sense, I mean, one of the reasons that it don't make sense, well, 
two reasons is one, it's such a newer age that they have a different type of lifestyle. It's hard for us to understand why you would take these routes, but you only take these routes because that's what's available to you. And it wasn't available to us in our time. I'm pretty sure if it was, women would be doing the same thing if we were young and had the availability to make thousands to millions of dollars on a website. Two is that there's such an age difference between us and them. We've already experienced life and went through the bullshit to be like, nah, I wouldn't do that dumb shit again. And then you're looking at them like, yo, why would you do that? You don't know that. No, you're not going to know because they'll find out five, six, seven, eight years later. You know what I mean? When your past comes to haunt you, like it's done to everyone who's done something in the past and then be like, oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. You know what I mean? Look, not for nothing, but look at Trump now. I mean, just to make an example, you do something in the past, you think you're going to get away with it, and yeah. now you're facing all types of indictments, ready to go to jail, you know what I mean? Thinking that you 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 had the world in the palm of your hand. And not to say that he's guilty or not guilty, but this is where he's at at this point in his life. You know what I mean? Eight, eight years later from whatever, six years later. So... It's it's when you watch these as uh, when you're at the age that we are and you watch this shit, we'd be like, man, these he just hoes. That's how that's what we think in our mind. Like, man, y'all just out here throwing hoeing. When you're talking about you got a 300 or more body count and how old are you? You're not even 30. You talk about you've been how long have you been having sex? 15 years. I, I do the math. That, by the way, I have updates on that. Dude, I, I mean, do the math that. with crazy shit like that. Somebody you know what I'm saying? She, somebody says she did porn. Oh, that's probably that's and, and and that's, when and when I saw that I was like, yeah, she's just a good worker. Sense. Yeah, I mean well, she's putting in a lot of overtime. She's reliable. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's only 365 days in a year. A, and you a scene me? every day. Old How gang bang over, like my man Shave Shave Spell said, old gang bang over here. But <laughs> real shit, what you was talking about is it's called it's called engineered outrage, and the reason social media pushes that so hard. Because the people that's on social media so heavy are kids or people that age mm -hmm. and which have the same thinking process. And they think, oh, what they're doing, they're justifying the bullshit that these young kids is doing. Like they're justifying their dumb shit. For real. And it feels good to have to hear somebody else their age justifying their bullshit. Now, somebody get on there our age with a little bit of wisdom and they try to speak some truth to the matter because they went through it and they seen the repercussions of their action. Oh, these motherfuckers don't know what they talked about. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll let me in um, about another 10, 15 years and see if I know what I was talking about. Because I don't know how many times I wish I said to myself, I wish I would listen to my mother. My mom was right. My dad was like, you know what? I sh they told me that. They warned me of that. I shouldn't have done it. It, it. it is what it is, man. It's engineer outrage. <laughs> To justify the bullshit of people of that of that age group, I'll, I'll give you an intro to that clip because I'm gonna make a clip out of that. Okay. Let's stop. Women are stupid, <laughs> and then I'll put everything you said after that, and then I'll get a billion hits. You know why? Women are stupid. Shit. Oh, what? Women aren't stupid. Or you got the guy saying, "Yeah, they is stupid." They want to watch and see whatever the fuck you're talking about. That's all it is, man. It's tricks. And y'all fall for the banana in the tailpipe. But you won't even get that reference because y'all niggas young as shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this movie I watched the other day called, uh, I actually watched it last night, called Ready Player One. And it's just about a kid uh, who lives in the future. And everyone does the same thing. They put this virtual reality headset on and that's how they live life through a pretty much like a game an oh, open coming, world man and, but coming. but but i mean we ain't we ain't that i mean we ain't far away from that but that is how instagram and tiktok and all that is now people make these videos and stuff so they can portray to live a certain lifestyle so they can get these likes you know what i mean to do to do what i mean at one point it was like yeah you could kind of make some money off of instagram but i think they stopping that they, you know what I mean? Yeah, they they fool niggas and uh they say, "Yo, we paying money for reels to combat TikTok." And then when yeah. they said TikTok about to be banned, yeah, we ain't really paying y'all no more. But here, come buy these, come buy this verification, come buy yeah. these checks. Yeah, they made yeah. six hundred and sixty million. Did y'all hear about that? That's the that's yeah, bullshit, right there. That. Like now, anybody, I don't even want to really get into that. Now, anybody but could be fucking any, verified. Yeah, anybody could be I, yeah, just I don't have even a celebrity type of status. Why? Yeah, yeah. Niggas now, Nick, 
you know what's gonna happen. Niggas gonna rent Lambos and go to Miami, rent these cars, years. and then and then buy a blue check and put it by their name, and they gonna uh, uh, fucking empty their whole fucking bank account out and have it all in ones with a couple of hundreds mixed in there. And somehow these they, they're gonna be the shit, get some fake rented jewelry, and you know, they might be famous and they may not. Who knows? But they bought the blue check, so they must be real what they're doing. You what, ever wonder what these people really do? The blue checks right. have to match your followers. So you 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 gotta do a lot of faking. If you if you have a blue check, which we've seen a couple, and I'm not gonna, you know, down downplay them. And I want you to finish your point. I just wanna like throw this caveat in there is that now, if you have a hundred thousand followers or fifty thousand followers with the blue check, that's something different because you clearly have at least you're interested in or you have some type of business going on. If mm-hmm. you have two thousand followers and you got a blue check or five hundred followers, bro, uh, you know what kills me? Let, let me break this shit down. What kills me about these businesses with these people with this blue check with businesses? They always, it's always when they talk about they got a business, it's always some vague, very vague ass business. Nothing what they're really doing. Like, yo, what do you do? Uh, you know, I got a couple. I invest, I invest in some real estate properties here and there. S- diversify my portfolio in some stocks. Like, like, <laughs> where do you own? Where you own land at? Like, what kind of properties do you own? We know some properties. Uh, what kind of stock you invest invest in? Oh, some stocks. Not oh, I buy commercial properties and I rent them out. I own about. 10 commercial properties you probably heard of my name you know you've seen this bill if you've seen this billboard those are my properties i own i own them all over the united states and yeah i invest in uh the, my uh the stocks i invest in is for you know new pharmaceutical products and stuff like that here go you know investing in, in future pharmaceutical products it's just some vague ass business that they'll never tell you about they just show you their cars their money in their apartment and they just believe that's what they are but they probably really are getting their fucking money from just fucking being a fucking influencer and somebody's paying them to fucking run ads on their page. Yes, bro. Yes. The the, the money comes with the followers. That's what it that's yes. I'm scamming you, you fucking yeah. asshole. Yeah. I am not all of them, I think, you know, but I'm scamming you. Come look at what I do. I'm a fake what I do so that people can pay me to tell you what to buy. That's all any of this is. So let the this. We were going to forward yeah. the conversation, but that's what all life on the, earth is now. Getting the, you to buy shit. The different form of actors. That's that's all it is. The different bro. form of actors. And guess where everybody is? They're not watching TV, but they're on social media yeah. all day. So it's different. That's <laughs> what? They put all the money in the commercials before on um on TV before. Now you streaming and you on your phone all day. Where the commercials got to go? Right to social mm. media, bro. And it ain't always, hey, it ain't always a paid for advertisement. When a nigga is doing his, when a nigga is doing his motherfucking, uh, doing his curls and he got on Gymshark, what you think that is? You think that's mm. just him showing, showing you his curls? No, nigga. He got paid to put on Gymshark so you can buy it. Yeah. I just like the, the social media comedians. Like they catch a lot of flack from the old schoolers, but the old schoolers, they literally went on the road, fucking had built the following, was actually fucking funny, had bits, told jokes, you know, had a whole set. Because I heard a couple of these new dudes, like, you know, you know, some of them bombed or they really can't do a set. Or you, or you go see they said it, it's funny. <laughs> huh, who? Name names. I ain't naming no names. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, when I seen my man Big Jai, his shit was funny. His the one boy he had when he, you can tell he was actually a comedian and he was like tightening his work up because I think he was getting a special done and shit. But they, you know, some of them is just, you know, they just go make these funny videos and then you see him like you see like somebody like film the fucking one they set with a phone and you like you not really laughing, you just looking at it like, all right, all right, it's cool. Like you're not in like like I could watch a Dave Chappelle clip. And that shit could be 40 seconds, but that shit would have me in fucking tears and hold my stomach. Eddie Griffin, sometimes his drunk, Cat Williams here and there. But some of these people that like are fucking social media people and somebody videotapes their clip is like, hmm. like all right, maybe, maybe they got some better stuff. Hey man, I'm I'm gonna say something that nobody wants to say, and I know y'all probably don't even agree. What's my man name? Wayne. 
Yeah, Country he, Wayne. Country Wayne don't do it for me, bro. He's not funny to me neither. Uh, you don't do it. I mean, it's not. I'm not to say that he's not doing his thing because he's, he's definitely doing his thing. He's just he's not. Talent. He's very. He's talented. just not funny to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think I like I like Ha Ha Davis better than Country Wayne. Well. His yeah, his comedy uh, connects with me. Yeah, I respect what they both <laughs> doing, and I respect the hustle because Country Wayne. Guess here's the thing: he to be a cuss. comedian, and I'm a, I'm gonna go. We we going we going forward this conversation. Country Wayne went on the road. Uh, you get what I'm saying? He knew y'all gotta get on the road too. Like I'm going to do this comedian thing. They all kind of have to come to that. Like most of them. You know what I mean? Unless they go straight into acting, which some mm. of them do. They got to go on the road with their shit. The other guy, I think his name is Ryan something, like the bigger uh, guy. He's funny. He went on the road. These dudes is on the road sharpening they, because they, that's what they know they got to do. That's why I respect them at. Because I guarantee you that if I go to a Country Wayne show, it'll probably be funny. But his skits, to me, they don't connect with me. I don't think they're funny, but that's just me. But his his routine is probably very funny because he's worked on that and that's that's what it's designed to do. I'm just, I'm trying to make you laugh. I've worked on this. So it's like I do res- there's still a hustle factor that we don't see that these dudes and women do have, bro. They and have. and and it's not even that um I mean I, like I said I just like you I I don't connect with a lot of the stuff, but it doesn't keep me from not watching it. Like right. I'll still go and watch a video of his to right. see you know what I mean? Like, what's going on here? Well, and I'll be like, that boy. I'll, be, I'll be like, that boy's stupid. But but you won't get a you won't get a, a heckle out of me or a good a good chuckle. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? You might be like, man, that boy Walla. And but, keep it moving. But it's yeah. not it's not that it doesn't have that pull for me. You know right. I mean? But it entertains you. It's yeah yeah. It's still an entertaining situation. Yeah. Some I think say, say about comedians like like Will Ferrell. We think he's like the funniest. He's not a comedian. He's not a on stage performing comedian. He's a, a comedic actor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He doesn't. He yeah. He he Improv wouldn't go genius. up and do his yeah. Yes. He won't go up and do a set. You know what I mean? They'll, they'll, that's the only thing I gotta say about a comedian. Man. Maybe these guys know. sets is better uh, or or they're better actors. And some like Ha Ha Davis would be a better actor. I can't see him putting the set together and be like I, I can think- watch. 30 minutes. I think ha ha does he might have. He, he, he might have. Up. You know why? Because it's just he's he's too it's it's a lot going with him. And he bro, he's he's an interesting dude, man. He funny, he's he a good dude. He funny though. Yeah. He that, that's my dude. I like he funny as shit. Anytime he drop a video, I watch it. And it was weird because when I, I see like and it's just like Dre said, I could kind of relate to situations he put himself in and the thought process that when he just look at you and he and he'll have these uh, background voices of his thoughts. And I'll be like, yo, that's shit that mm-hmm. I can hear myself or a friend of mine saying like our brother Cali, that nigga says some crazy shit out loud. And he'll be like, oh, back up there, big buddy. Whoa there, crazy. big buddy. <laughs> yeah. that shit, shit like that to me is like, yo, that's funny as hell because in your mind you think a lot of crazy shit that you might not say out loud and this nigga is really bringing that to life i I fucked with that heavy you know what i want to i want to tell tell backup big buddy to them niggas that be on fucking instagram giving out them fake ass (laughs) massages them niggas (laughs) 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 i wish my girl my girl like she mad if i got a massage like that bitch i'll kill everybody in that room that shit is not normal there's that no shit reason. Is not normal. It's not real nope. massages. These niggas are just <clears throat> oiling up somebody girl neck who wants to be rubbed the fuck down. I don't by a see. Ass nigga. I don't see no videos. Nothing wrong with a little of, on the grind. <laughs> hold on. I don't see no videos of women with, with their hands under a blanket massaging a dude's balls and dick. You know what I'm saying? Because what does that turn into? Would you go? I wouldn't be allowed to go. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it a hundred. I, I wouldn't go. be allowed to go. If I was single, if right. I was a single person, then I could, I could, I could try any venture I'd like right. to try at that point. But I would, me with morals, I wouldn't even take the opportunity because I don't want the backlash or me having to wake up with a woman over top of me, ready to fucking try to murder me because she thinking somebody massaging my shit that ain't her. So no, I wouldn't take that chance now. Dude, they can't. They but, can't make a video. But but what I'm saying is, if that happens, what do they call that? 
They can't make a video like that. Besides a happy I'm ending. I'm just telling you why okay. they can't make a video. <laughs> Besides yeah. a happy ending. Yeah. Yeah. So, so a dude could be massaging your ass like all oh, you're talking about females are right, areas there, like a woman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Hopefully not your ass, Dre. I'm trying uh, to figure, dude. nigga. You went right into it, but go ahead. I'm just saying, uh, a guy could be massaging a woman's ass, and that's not any type of sexual pleasure. It is. It's all sexual it is, pleasure, bro. It, it it goes into what we were saying earlier, but I'm gonna take it a little bit deeper. It's just not it, normal. It goes. It's not normal. It goes into what we were saying earlier. It's like shock. It's shocking. It's supposed to shock you. We're videotaping it so you can see how egregious it is. Now, if you talk about a, a woman who is a single woman going to get this done, yo, do your thing, girl. Yeah. Get relaxed. Do what you got to do. Let them finger yeah. you. Let them do whatever you want to do to get relaxed. I applaud both of y'all. He's a businessman. Let him do his thing. The, the outrage comes in when, when you see, which I, I like these, would you let your girl get this massage so that's dope. where the outrage comes in because it's like and and and, and i want to explain <laughs> if you had your, if your girl went to this massage this personal massage dude and he's rubbing near her private parts i would probably kill them both you know why because both of y'all playing with me bro both of y'all are <laughs> playing with me and i'm not playing with y'all that's really that's simple i'm not playing with y'all you, you see the videos like real shit they be ass <sighs> naked the nigga her titties be on this nigga wife beater why she's sitting on this nigga lap in some silk underwear i hope they both can fight. back all around like come on well, his she dick laying is on her stomach that with her legs open hard. like laying my on her dick, stomach with her legs open across yeah. his lap my dick, I hope they both my dick, my my dick be on hard. He be I heard like, you he just hit. Everything. <laughs> like, hitting, I'm hitting, over here like, is this shit going? It's just hitting, yeah. it just hitting all in her box like this because y'all niggas keep talking over top of me. It just hitting all in her box and shit. Oh, you know what I'm saying? shit all moistened up, and he and he smelled like all your girl's juices. You walk in there, it's like shotgun in the whole situation. The reason I say it couldn't be us on the other end, they couldn't do a video because it'd be graphic. Chick rubbing you like that. She oh, just, if a dude laying down on his yeah, stomach just you're like you're not she is, able to lay on your down. stomach, somebody rubbing you like yeah, that, huh? dog. Yo, women they, milkmen all the time. Yeah, listen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah, they, they, gotta have a, a, they got gotta tables have a, for that. They, they got have a hole in the table, for that. Dog. Yeah, exactly. They ain't put you, know you on mean? your back. They look, put look, you. look, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get creative with this real oh quick. Oh my god! All right, they can have a table where you can, with the hole where you laying down, and the table elevates, so it can, you can be high enough, can and she could be at a, she could stand up or be sitting down. She could get in a comfortable position. I need you that know table. What I mean? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, but I mean, think of they got it in hospitals. No, you bro. press a button, your bed elevates. Is all you gotta do is just yeah, make it higher. The moment she puts you, you know on your mean? back, and it would be up. a very lucrative business. How yeah. many dudes you gonna know? Yeah, no, no, how many dudes would no come woman? to the? It would come <laughs> to the milk to the milk lady. <laughs> it was the milkman, but she the milk lady. Let Kev get a sex joke off. I'm trying to tell you, Kev be there. <laughs> no, I <wouldn't> be there. <laughs> I'm saying, but I, what I'm trying now, she puts you on your back and she rubbing you like you ever see that rubber between rub the chick between her legs. Mm -hmm. You you couldn't do that as a man. Like, yeah, she gonna make sheep noises. Be, the sheep be standing up. <laughs> the sheep be all wet up in the front. It just be, just be it be completely over. They wouldn't be able to show the video on on fucking Facebook because they gonna be like it accepts his nudity and shit. Your dick go hard jumping underneath the blanket. Like, because she's rubbing on you, man. It's, it's game over. You're going to splooge on the blanket. You're going to splooge on the blanket. You got a fucking oh, sitting up whispering. Over. How much you going to charge for a little bit of extra? You know it's, what I mean? It's, it's, it's like, probably, in all honesty, that's where it's going to go. If if you are, if the, if the roles were reversed, you would honestly have to, because who wants to be teased? I can go to yo. I can pay a prostitute to do the same thing. I could just tell her, "Yo, be creative here. Rub me down, and then when you're done, suck my dick or fuck sure. me, and sure. get the same effect." You can just set it up so nobody, no man's gonna pay to be teased unless that's their thing. I think women can be pleasured. A woman can be pleasured by what that man is doing. Period. Don't, don't come home and try to fuck me after that. Go no, home, home I told to you, it. I'm fucking knocking everybody. I hope both of y'all niggas can fight in that room. 
Because if <laughs> I get in that room and see what's going on, to me, I see red. Everybody getting fucked up. I don't give like, a fuck if it's a, the nigga with his phone taping everything. Everything. Everybody getting fucked up. Hold, hold up, homeboy. She paid a hundred dollars for this. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I was gonna send her home to you, right? Like yeah. you wasn't gonna send her home to me, right, nigga? Yeah, I'm gonna send you home to Jesus, right? That's like, what's gonna happen. It just killed Man. me. Like the videos fucked me up. Made some old nigga with some dreads and, and all muscled up. Like always the same dark skin <laughs> dread head nigga rubbing on somebody bitch with a big ass <laughs> booty tattoo. Like, come on, it's always oh, it's, I'm I got a booty tattoo. Yeah, the one would have got a big old <laughs> he booty or got a booty tattoo. tattoo. I said, oh, you <laughs> watch that video, nigga. She, 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 she extra thick and shit. Like she all extra thick and a booty all drink. It's it's like yo, yeah. it's plotted out. It's like advertising. He, yeah, he he paid for this to get her on here to rub her up, and then he put the caption on time. What if it was your girl? Send the Bro. video out to somebody anonymously, and yeah. it's, this video got a million views. views. Yeah. Right. My question and it, is, and it's in his house all the time. Nigga ain't got a proper place of business. But what's up, Kev? My, my question is, when you see Red, <laughs> you go in there and you start fighting everybody, trying to knock everybody out. Do you knock your girl out twice because she paid for it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does she, she get, get the double win? Me. <laughs> she get up? Because yo, <laughs> once that nigga started touching you, it's like we we. If it was a real conversation that we was having, I know. Say, let's say my wife paid for a, a massage. Like, say it was a group. Like, cause you know, like some some bitches in the friend group, not my wife's friend group, thankfully, because she don't really fuck with nobody. Um, but some girls in the friend group be wild and be trying to set people up. Yo, let's go do this massage thing. I heard they got the massage thing. There's men massage you and then take them to a place like that. Once my wife sees something going on like that, she gonna be like, nah, I'm cool. Peace out. I'm leaving. You know what I'm saying? That's the proper response. It's like, yo, this, this nigga is rubbing y'all ass and pussy and titties. Mm, not for me. I'm a married woman. It's the women that say, mm, let's see what it's going to feel like. Nah, but you want to cheat, so I'm going to treat you like a cheater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I've gone, I, me and my wife have gotten massages together. And <laughs> a, 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 it was all women there. All women massaged us. Yeah. And I mean... There's nothing sexual about getting well for me. It's it's more relaxing, if anything. Put them hot rocks on my back. Make that room steamy. You know what I'm saying? Got like, get these oh, kinks out. Pause. You know what I mean? So only a girl can only a woman can rub your woman, right? Put them hot rocks on. Well, I no, wouldn't. I wouldn't, back, no, I wouldn't say that. Uh, the fuck? I'm about to say I wouldn't say that, but also as as I'm not having y'all in the same room. Yeah, you're you not going, going to sit in there and massage your ass. <laughs> Yeah, the niggas, you know what I mean? niggas like, went to school. <laughs> We're going to massage yeah. envy, bro. We ain't going to a nigga house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then we might as well have a foursome. Yeah. If you if you get massages we like that, there. I don't mean to talk over y'all, but I'm just saying, like, nigga, like, let me we put the hand in stone. Let me put my sure pug up real quick. I'm, I'm selling these on the internet real quick. <laughs> <laughs> my bed out the back room. It is a CD nigga always doing some shit like that. Like, yo, let me. <laughs> yeah, I was just I'm... cooking, but hold on. <laughs> <laughs> food away uh, <laughs> oh oh i'm sorry you a little early <laughs> my bad i'm i got extra you want to sit for dinner after like nah this is getting crazy got <laughs> killed <this nigga. laughs> but you know you don't never but these see these are things that's normalized yeah. that is mm -hmm. not fucking normal it's not you don't never see no fucking out of shape women in these videos why they don't never show no love to the big girls i always try to show love yeah. to the big girls I, I ain't rubbing up no big girls they be thick I you would, say, like you, you probably get angry. more business. You might see some of that. I ain't never seen nobody with they lap. Did you look it lap. up? I mean, they stomach and they lap. Yeah, you I, look it up. I though. think I have because to me, that's the ones. And I'm not saying that you know, I, you know, I love my big girls here and there, but I think those are the ones who are paying for that service. Because you get a <laughs> listen. There's two things. There's the yeah, massage, I, yeah. and then there's the sensual massage. Saying that nobody will pay for a sensual massage is not true at all. It's women who say, no, I want the sensual one. Had that nigga all on my neck. Had that nigga smelling my hair while he doing it, massaging my hair. It is a service, yo. I ain't going to lie. I don't think they're doing nothing wrong. As long as the woman, to me, is like, if the man oh, is cool with it, if the man is cool with his girl doing that, to each his own, or if she's single. That's it. That nigga sitting, if that nigga is like that, he's sitting in the corner with a pistol in his lap. I got a doozy for y'all. Hold on. When, put this, when you get put this cup in here, nigga. Put this cup on. <laughs> put this cup on. <laughs> Go put the cup on. Yeah, yo. 
Come on, you know yeah. what? Yeah, go go put the cup on my nigga. Cause he about to give your girl sensual massage. Ain't no, ain't nothing touching. Let's just be real with the hands and somebody. You, you, you ain't rubbing up on my lady with your third leg, dog. Put this cup on. Hey. That's that nigga sitting and sitting in the corner with the gun with his legs crossed, just watching. Listen, first of all, first of all, the, you and the threesome, you don't even know it if you do that. But listen, <laughs> let me ask you. Have y'all heard what goes on at strip clubs? Nigga, or 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 when they get male strippers to come to the crib, have you? Do you know what's happening? Are they sucking these niggas off? They sucking dick. Not all of them, but that happens. How do you feel about that? Because I ain't eating pussy at a strip club, but these bitches is sucking dick. They get the nigga is putting they. Man, man, we can't put this on YouTube. Yes, you can. Care. These niggas is putting their dicks in the girls' hands. All that shit. How do you feel? He holds a trifle, man. <laughs> he holds a trifle. Do, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Other than the sucking dick part, with them, with the niggas putting their dicks no, in the girls' no, hands, you get mad because you no. touch him in the girl's ass. What's up? No, it's she just ass, trying to get though. through she can college. Touch his ass. I ain't never get no pussy put in my oh, hand, dog. Trying, I ain't never get nobody put their pussy in she's my hand. She's just trying to get through college. <laughs> Yo, a nigga stripping to get through college is crazy. <laughs> that nigga, uh, he just, he just, try, that nigga he just trying to be a registered nurse. I found my next movie. I found, I found <laughs> our next movie. A nigga stripping to get through college. He's about to get his doctorate. I'm going to say almost out Ma the game. Mag <laughs> Magic Mike XXLDR. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> MD, MD, MD. Yeah, there you go. That's even better. <laughs> Dookie got like, a new job. <laughs> it be the girls ain't never Doogie. suck dick their whole relationship. Like, go ahead, girl. They be gassing her. Go ahead, girl. Mm -hmm. Suck his dick. I know you ain't never sucked no dick before. Nigga, home. Nigga been wearing 20 years. Ain't never get a dick suck. She go fucking go see a stripper one night and get a little drunk <laughs> and gassed up. And now she in there sucking dick. Sucking it hard, too. Putting work in on the shit. I, I, that's some foul shit, man. Hey, no, you know why we don't eat no pussy in no strip club? Cause niggas bust nuts in pussy. Niggas like shit still coming out of that shit. Like niggas ain't eating another nigga nut. These I mean, chicks don't. Listen, sheesh. When you go into yeah. the back room, what you doing? Not you. I'm talking about people. When they go into the back room, what they doing with girlfriends? They they have girlfriends at home, and the girl get them a private dance. What you think they doing? They, they grabbing they got... pussy. They rubbing titties. But let's say you let's say a person's girl pays for a private dance. And she goes into the back room. I'm that nigga's putting his dick on her face and in her hands. <laughs> so I want to know: Are you mad at her or I'm not? Mad at her? I'm Why? Mad at her? Why, bro? Let's be real. We go in the back of strip club. We've been in the back room. These chicks I tell haven't. you this. I they tell you his rules. They tell you his rules. You got to stand in the corner. You can watch me wash myself. Yeah. That you can't. Nigga. Let's be that all fucking rules by by the rules, nigga. Right, like, I had one time, about? a long time, I was in a strip club. A girl put. I ain't talking about that. I'm, I'm talking about you, nigga. I'm talking about this fake fucking shit. I'm talking about indulge, she nigga. She tried to put a pussy in my face, <laughs> and indulge, I put my nigga. finger here. <laughs> Listen, and I put I made her pussy by accident, like my finger hitting her the, went inside of her. I said, "Yo, what you doing? You getting too close to my face?" He said, "You're not supposed to do that." I say, "You get too close to my face, yo." Okay, so let me make it. So let me make it the same. Let's say that nigga's gyrating, doing a helicopter in front of your girl, and it goes like this. <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> it was an accident. When it, she was just moving to grab a dollar, and it was like, oh, oh my god! If it was an accident, and she tells you about it, are you mad? Yeah, you just got slapped by a whole dick. And you want to come home and <laughs> sing with me? Oh, I and she want to fuck you when she get home. Too. Oh, nah, he ain't fucking that. Get the fuck out. Got a whole dick. Like, yo, especially light skin got a dick, like the dick bruise on the side of her face. <laughs> like, what? what she get yeah. hit with a mallet? Yeah, but you out here giving bitches dick bruises. I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on at your house. I am bruising no one with my shit, bro. The fuck is you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> this, nigga is, this nigga is magic Mike Ooh, for real. I'm saying, but a nigga, a nigga, if a nigga, hell, the balls listen, of steel. If a nigga dick helicopter in front of a bitch and her wig flapping up like that. That shit long and it's strong. Bro. He hit her across right. her head. <laughs> Kev, what is she, Mrs. Glass? He gets smacked with a dick. There's a dick print on her face. Bro. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce so, easy.
So we we got to, we, I mean, this is a real conversation. I don't think we ever had on here because they're not hiring. Listen, this is about to sound crazy. They're not hiring little dick niggas to be strippers, bro. They're oh. not hiring little dick niggas to be strippers. So those dudes, they come ready to go. So what I need to know is if <laughs> yeah. your girl touching dick, dick. You, if oh. you're girl touching, because to me, I don't, listen, <sighs> listen. I don't. Did come with I, his my own girl want to go to a strip club. If my girl want to go to a strip club, which she doesn't, but if she does, with in his girl's night, I'm not gonna tell her no. I'm not gonna say no. You're not allowed. But I'm gonna tell her if you suck a dick, you touch a dick, you do any of that shit. I'm gonna tell you. Don't come home. She thinks she's gonna tell you. I will have a spy. Dre is gonna spy. Dre gonna go back and watch okay. the video. Okay. Feed. Okay. Okay. Listen, 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 listen. He's gonna be in the car with a trench coat on in the corner. Listen, he gonna I make him. He gonna make him put the glasses on with the camera so he can watch everything. I got a. I got a, I got a better question on. for y'all. I got a better. I got a better question for y'all since y'all put back it on that me. Dig up. <laughs> I better, listen, I got a better question for y'all since y'all want to put it on me. Let's say she does touch a dick. Do you want her to tell you? No. Because it's going to, if you, that's what I'm trying to say. No. It's going to happen. So, no. what I need to know is if y'all cool no. with it. I'm not even asking about that night. If if, if my wife decides to go. go to a strip club, that, and th- th- thank that's you. it. Have, thank you. That's, that's a fun. real answer. Kev, what yeah, about you? Yeah, let me tell you what. Shut up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't tell me nothing. I, <laughs> this you nigga that, was you this long. <laughs> keep it to your grave because you could end up by yourself. If you say the wrong shit, yeah. and both y'all yeah. niggas got the high, even if you're talking to somebody yeah, else, yeah. if you're talking about what somebody else did, you are guilty by association. Guilty you know what I mean? I'm assuming I'm if it happened to them, it happened to you. Yep. Uh, you know what I mean? Equal y'all opportunity, conscious, dick. That yep. nigga's cut conscious, fucking going crazy while y'all cooking breakfast, just flipping pancakes. She you knew she went to strip club last night. Everything just popped in your head. She probably fucking touches the body. I Dog, she touched his dick. I'm, I don't understand what the I mean, fuck she is. make. She making you making oh, the yeah. eggs like she probably put you the know, dick on the forehead. You know why? Man, like, I, I wanna, you know why I know? Because I knew I knew some. I ain't gonna say who. I ain't gonna say who who mess with strippers. But no, they they touching strippers' dicks, bro. I know they are. So that's what I'm trying to say. This is not a if. This is a what would you do when. They come and I asked Kev gave me an honest answer. What about you? Do you want to know? Do I want to know? No, I don't want to know. But Here just like I said, bro, bro, I am going my whole my whole day gonna be it's I'm gonna be fucked up for about a week because I'm just gonna be thinking of all the shit that possibly went on in this strip club that I want to know about, but I don't want to ask none of the questions to. I'll be sitting there just miserable, like I got a bitch, why you come in? No, she came in at the proper time. You gonna come in late? Just start meaningless arguments. <laughs> I got a question. You gonna fucking come in at two o'clock in the morning? It's some bullshit. <laughs> like when I go out, I'm never coming that fucking late. And fuck y'all, I don't wanna talk to you. What are y'all so mad for? Bitch, get out of my fucking face. You touched his dick, me. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> shut the door. <laughs> no, I didn't. You know what? Did you that's even know his ask- last name? That's how you ask the question without asking a question. You just say some shit like that. You probably suck this nigga dick. Nah, he sucked the whitey dick. Why you think of me like that? I just went out with my girlfriend. I sat in the corner all night. Whew, thank God she told me her answer. <laughs> Sat in the corner on a dick. <laughs> <laughs> in your hand and on your shoulder. But uh, I got What's a question. question. If y'all if y'all were married to, if your wife was like a doctor and she had a lot of men, um, clients, and she had to like check their balls and dick and shit like that, is that a conflict for you then? No. No, because no, dicks is fucking. Job. It's a job. But I mean, it's. And it it's the, hard, it's the stripper's job. You're right. To make sure that the penis is as close to them as possible. Because how else do think about it? Where do the tips go? Where do the tips that women give oh, male strippers go? They dicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know where they go. <laughs> I was like, wait. Um, where, where do the tips they, that women oh. give male strippers go? Or I guess into their thongs, whatever they got on. I don't want to imagine it, but I mean, I guess they not just sticking a piece of. Kev, if you was if, if you were if you were reliving your stripper days, oh, oh. where would you prefer them to put the money at? 
in his I back. Why you act like I was a stripper? I wasn't ever. I just in did like office. stupid shit. You just what? I just did like. Okay, stupid now shit. when did you want? I just did strip. I was never a stripper. I did stripper shit. I had stripping tendencies. <laughs> where, where did you, you want the money at? No one just handed it to me, bitch. Where you going in my Oh, you dancing and they just they giving you dollars and you collecting dollars. You just thank you, thank you. Look at this with the shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, just hand it to me. Yo, 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 yo. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got another one. I got another one. You know, Kev the type of nigga strip with a hat. So Kev just take the money and put it underneath his hat. <laughs> Kev will be 40. It'll be a Kango. It's gonna be a next Kango, nigga. A next Kango. Be a... Ain't too many places. You next nigga the only stripper oh, with a knee brace. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Hey yo, yeah, both y'all hey, niggas, yo. y'all niggas got on the fucking. I can never week. Be a stripper, bro. I know because y'all both have fat fucking back straps on them little fucking back harnesses on y'all niggas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all niggas be stiffy <laughs> robot on stage. This nigga, they gonna come out doing a robot across the stage. Uh -huh. <laughs> bitch, hey, bitch, want me to strip for her? She better come to me. <laughs> yeah. Fuck out yeah. here. Nah, I just, I just, yeah. like I said, bro, like I'm helicoptering by myself <laughs> in a circle while I'm turning in a circle. <laughs> Everybody gets a view. <laughs> Throw the money on the floor. I'll sweep it later. Can I tell y'all something? On the stripper, on the stripper subject, I got objectified yesterday. Oh yeah, I got objectified by a woman. It wasn't that bad though, but she said something that threw me completely off. I got by a woman. Fuck you. Um, so I had to do a drug test yesterday, right? So they sent me to the motherfucking hood out here, and the hood out here is a little different. So I went to fucking the Walgreens out this bitch. You know, everybody had to get a drug test. So it was two women in there. One was fine, and she was young. The other one was old. Guess which one was touching me? The old one. The fucking yeah. old. One. So I walk in after they call me. They call me by my last name. I walk in. And the lady, she just, she got glasses on. She just look at me like this. And, she, <laughs> and she's walking she by. And I'm like, and I was like, hello. She gave it a librarian. For real. Yo, that's what it's called, too. <laughs> you do that strip club. Um, she gave me the librarian. And she said, I said, hello. She said, mm, hello. I said, oh, shit. So I'm like, wondering what the fuck we doing? Because I'm in a big room. And I'm like, I don't see no toilet, bitch. What the fuck is going on? And she she goes to the corner and then she comes back. She don't say nothing but hello with her glasses down and walk past me. She grab a cup and she give it to me. And first thing she said to me, give me that urine. I said, what? <laughs> I said, what the fuck? Jay walked out. I said, what the fuck am I supposed to do with that piece of information? The fuck is you? Give me that urine. I said, Okay, and I fucking go to take a piss, confused, and I'm like, "All right." Is she standing in front of you? Did you no, like no, no, take no. a piss? In it empty wasn't. Room? It wasn't a parole joint because then I would have been uncomfortable. I'd have had to get hard. Yeah, yeah. I had to get hard on that one. Like, no, nah, fuck that. She's gonna see me beefed in grease, as Kev says it. So, <laughs> so, so she, listen. So it's the two. Like I said, it's the fine joint. She got a little hair. She got a short haircut, and then it's the the older lady. So I come out, right? Come out. And I open the door and I'm like, you know, they don't let you wash your hands. So I feel gross. And I'm like, do I leave it in here? And it was very like, yo, just do what you want type shit. And he was like, nah, just put it over there. And I'm like, okay, any particular space over here? On the napkin. All right. Very uncomfortable. And the lady just come up behind me and start patting my shoulders. And I'm like, okay. And the other girl was like, he solid, ain't he? I'm like, yo, I got to get the fuck out of here. I said, I got to get the fuck out of here. This shit is insane. She, she patted me on the shoulders at least three to four or five times. I'm dead serious. Like, oh. after that, after that, other women came in to do their little whatevers, and she's still touching my shoulders. Coming And the, and the women is talking. I'm like, I don't. I don't like this. Why ain't the fine bitch touching me? Why, why the old lady touching me? Oh, that old guru about to give Dre some I worms. I feel like they had a conversation <laughs> and she was like, he big as hell. He looked like he's strong. And the little girl probably was like, touch his shoulders. See if he's real. 
She was like, I am. And then as soon as she touched it, she was like, it's solid, ain't it? <laughs> like they was talking about it before. Bro, she said that. She was like, that's, that's what the girl said. It's solid, it's solid. He's solid, ain't he? I'm like, the fuck? I, I, I didn't know what to do, bro. Like, I was old laughing. Pussy. But I was just <laughs> like... <laughs> Dre right. don't even know that they, they, like they, old nah, <laughs> Dre was about to get kidnapped and he don't even know what they was going to hit that nigga with a needle. He'd have woke up in the back of a van nah, <laughs> with, they be like, with a bag over his head and I didn't touch that tied up. Like, we got a job for you, man. Show up here <laughs> at nah. two, 2 o'clock and wear these. I oh, pull, nah, I pulled up to a house. He'd have woke up and again. give me that he'd woke up. He'd have woke up in Trinidad with mm-hmm. a bunch of gigolos. <laughs> you nigga, get out there right now. Let me fuck out of here. He just would have looked at me like, nah, you got you gotta take him back. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. Give you though. bottom dollar for him. <laughs> yeah, bottom dollar. <laughs> Bottom, yo, being offered bottom dollar. <laughs> we pay you for transportation. <laughs> oh, shit. I just wanted to tell y'all, I thought that was interesting. And my wife didn't care. I told her when I got home, and she was like, Yeah, all right. So, uh, and I'm like, Man, hey, bitch, you won't let that old bitch be touching on me. You don't care. The fuck? Yo, you ain't fucking that old hoe. Yeah, you came home. How you described her? She now, you described her. She was bad. She's rubbing up on you. She had a fat ass. Then she was like, "Oh, you then it been? Oh, you just like bitches touch you now?" <laughs> I'm about to say, I can hear, e, I can hear E right now. You go ahead and risk it all for that old pussy if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> young, the young one was fine. The young one was fine. I said, "God damn!" Yeah, hey, but if you if you had came in here and said the young Joan was touching all on you, she probably would have had a different attitude you. about it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say shit. I would have like, kept that right to myself. Like Dre about to get Dre about to get offered some old ass diabetic pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, Dre. You could have got a buy one get one right there. Yeah. Nah, I'm all right. <laughs> Bogo. First thing I be talking about is my wife. Pussy. Niggas be like, oh, why? Oh, what you? Oh, yeah, my wife. That's all. The first thing I throw out there, yeah, my wife, because <laughs> I am a ring on. So I'm for, my wife. That's all I be telling bitches. Yeah. Why you ain't have your ring on? Sometimes I don't wear it. Not because of any specific. You trying to see if you got the juice still? No, because it started. Well, I'm, I'm a guy. That's how you got your shoulders padded in the I first place. No if you had your ring on, they wouldn't have been trying to grab your breasts. My weight, my weight goes up and down, so sometimes the ring gets a little bit. You know, too- it starts here, she touch, oh, and then yeah. they pat your shoulders, and they go uh, underneath where your armpits is uh, like they try to make sure you ain't firm. got no weapons. Then they come in the front. Yeah, he firm, and, man. And then they start grabbing. And when they, when she started Carol. grabbing the front, that's when the young girl was like, "He's solid, ain't he?" Yes. <laughs> I don't want she was, to grab my She chest. had a southern accent, didn't she? That nigga had yeah. she was southern. LA, he had an old lady named Beth. I can tell from about what he said. Like, like Beth me, or some shit like that. Give me that, that yearn. Yo, she said, give me that yearn. And I did not know what to do. I immediately thought of jokes. Soon as he said that shit, I'm like, I can't wait to tell everyone I know that this bitch just told me. Give me, quote, give me that yearn. I, text, I texted my friend the, the, the same day. I'm like, yo, is it weird that this motherfucker told me? And I put in quotations, give me that yearn. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have been hitting her with all and types then, of jokes right to her face. Like, you got to be an R. Uh, Kelly fan. For uh, real. You shit. like R. Kelly? <laughs> she hit you with a hard Florida I mean, accent, too. She was man. Nice. As I said, in Southern Georgia. She was nice. All right, that's, that's funny, though. Yeah, we wrapping this shit up, dog. We out of here, man. It's that time of, it's that time of day. Time of the month, right? Time, time of the month. Peace. Yeah, look. Time of the month for you. Yeah, I thought you were about to say giving up that, that yearn. Yeah, yeah, that time. <laughs> Give me that yearn. <laughs> giving up that yearn.